As you may know, some of Rembrandt's most famous paintings explore biblical narratives. Looking at his paintings, you can sense the fear of the disciples during the storm on the Lake of Galilee. You're transfixed by the boldness of Stephen as he faces death by stoning. And you're touched by a deep anguish in the testing of Abraham's faith at the sacrifice of Isaac. Professor Walford explains that one of Rembrandt's lasting legacies in Western art is his ability to find that exact moment in a story that carries the absolute essence. Rembrandt's great gift is timing. For instance, the denial of Peter. Peter, the disciple who says, um, I'll never betray you. And then this little serving girl comes over, points a finger at him and says, weren't you with Christ? And Rembrandt leaves you there. All the light is on that accusatory finger. And Peter is one of the most awkward, lumpy, dumpy, ill-formed figures in Western art. But his one hand, which is saying nothing, and you follow an axis vertically from that hand, and there in the background you see this shadowy figure looking back over his shoulders, surrounded by soldiers, and you realize that Rembrandt has put there the figure of Christ, just a tiny slither of light against shadows of the side of his face, and you know he's turning round it. Just you see just enough to know it's Christ looking back at Peter. And at least for me, when I stood in front of that painting, it made me realize, it reminded me, Christ had forgiven Peter before ever he did that. And you see that, and in that moment you realize what the depth of forgiveness is. The Denial of Peter is one of Professor Walford's favorite works of the 17th century Dutch master. But even though it is a painting of great power, it is not one of Rembrandt's best works in a technical sense. I have to say that formally, it is a clumsy painting. It's really not put together well as a painting. And that's what's so fascinating about it, because that's like what he's saying through his art. You know, it's not about the exterior form, it's about the inner life. 